I thought we'd keep with the uh, the fish theme, a little bit smaller than the whale from last week, but uh, very similar in that you've got, uh, you know, again, your strongest your strongest details are closest to you. Uh, we're going to obviously ignore the fact that there's a, a, fush, a fish hook <laughs> in this poor fish's mouth, but this is a trout, and I uh, just thought it was beautiful colors. Um, the underwater scene, reflections on the underside of the water, I think, are really, really strong and dynamic. This is very strong detail here, and it's sort of, now this sort of goes off into maybe a little bit darker, but sort of a, um, uh, a little bit fuzzier kind of look, because obviously the camera is focused here, so, but it goes from light to dark, whereas our other one was dark to light. It was interesting. So this gets darker towards the back and lighter towards the front. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna push that up a little bit. So this is this is our subject, this trout. Uh, I'm gonna I've already taped off my my piece um, my board here, and I'm just gonna put in sort of this line here. The difference where the where the water in the lake or river meets the uh, the top of the surface here. Okay, the fish again. Fish. This this is really a circle. Uh, excuse me, a cylinder. So in a sense, the way you want to draw it would be as if this were a a cylinder okay so we're gonna look at it like this here's the the body of the fish looking down like this like I said it's a cylinder so it's gonna have it's gonna look like this a little bit goes up into here I'm gonna actually bring a little bit of the the tail into this bring it down here just a little bit more here's the eye back into here. And again, here's all these sort of wonderful reflections up into the, the underside of the water here. The fins, here's the eye, the mouth. We've got some uh, gills through here. Here's a side fin, the bottom fin here. And the reflection in the body kind of turns in like this. Okay, so there's our drawing. Okay, just use a, just a regular pencil for this. Okay. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a wash. I like the the difference of sort of what's happening here. You got the color of the of the the, the, the water here, the water, the, uh, like I said, I think it's like a lake or a stream. It's very similar to the inside here. So we're gonna see if we can't just have that faint little line here. But again, we're going to try and go from light here to dark, dark back here. See how this works out. And again, because I'm going to do uh, these these dark areas, I'm going to flood in some water first. I'll just do the water that the, the fish is in first before I do the water on the inside. So this is all sort of nice, sort of wet. And we're going to go for this green, a series of greens. some blue. There we go. So a bit of green and blue.
again by adding that water you get that nice you get that nice gradation but the fact that it's uneven is okay that's sort of part of the part of the process of dealing with Remember the power of actually moving this material around. I'm using the, the dark blues back in here. And I'm just adding a little bit more blue down here. There, I think I might be happy with that. Again, we've got some, so I'll put some dark greens and the blues through here, some lighter blues up through here. And we've let this, the paper is sort of folded. So it's gonna have, it's gonna dry with a sort of that interesting, uh, let's see what happens here. But like with watercolor, you still get this, there's still a spontaneous kind of feel to it. A little more blue in that corner. There we go. Okay, I think that's what I think that's good. go and then because I want to just get the get the background done first before I take a break I'm gonna go ahead and turn it upside down and we're just gonna get a little since it's gonna be a very similar color I'm gonna put just a little bit and I'm gonna keep a little bit of a line right there just that faint little white line and that's the inside of the I want to get, disrupt the color of my reflection that's over here, so I can lift up the brush like that. There we 
There we go. And let's see if we can get that just a little bit darker. And that's the water surface, so it's going to have a little bit of some texture through it like this. I'm lifting the brush up as I do this. There, I think that'll work. That's my background. That'll be the water. So again, the idea is that we're going from light to dark through here to the base underneath, and then I'm trying to get dark here behind the fish through here, okay? This is the water line. This is where the water meets the, or at least where you're in, under the water meets the top surface. That's the top surface of the water. So I've added some of this dark from this corner over here. So we've, but we've left that little white line, which I think would be kind of distinction between, again, the water the fish is in and the bottom of what you're looking at is which is the surface. Okay, so um, maybe add just a little bit of water over here in the reflection. So that's it. Okay, so that's that's our water background.